Hello, this is Mike Rowland. I'm doing a video here with my John Bedini Solid State SG Oscillator. And recently I picked up some more batteries and you can see them here. These are gel cells, 50 uh, amp hour, 12 volt. There's one. There's the other one. That one is the charge battery and this one is the run battery. Maybe I can give you a closer look at my uh, light flashing there and you'll see the the needle on the top just going away bouncing around there at, well I adjust it around it's got a over here on this side you'll see these pots now these pots are 10 turn pots and that's number six gauge wire for the red and the big red and black one and this gives me a lot of fine adjustment for this cap dump. Uh, this capacitor discharge uh, has uh, just a static heat sink on it, no fan. And um, I don't know if you can see in there very well. Just a small circuit with some, some pretty good size number of parts in there for, for I mean, mo like MOSFETs. And then down below, it. By the way, this is a homemade project. It has a handle on it from off of a like a floor scrubber. Worked out pretty good. It's got a nice handle on it. Uh, nice rubber grips and then I put this all in an electrical box. Now on the front there's these two other two knobs and a switch. Gives me various resistance values and I can also look down here at the battery. I put a amp meter on there. And you'll see the amp meter is running about a little less than two amps on the input. It moves just a little. And then over on the other battery, sometimes the charge battery, I'll put a amp meter on there. I'm getting like a five to a seven amp pulse most of the time. And here's some smaller ones um, I just picked up. These are the gel cells. And very nice batteries. Quite expensive. And before I finish the video now, I want to, if I can, get in here so you can see this homemade gadget. Uh, and my meter's sitting there. Um, Maybe some of you guys would like to see the meter on both of these. Let me see here. Um, now this is the digital meter showing the input battery. It's at 12.11, and so far on the out, it's 12.8. If you look here, you'll see a bunch of diodes, and that's for generator mode. And over here you see a switch, a big 30 amp switch. That's the switch between mode 1 and mode 2. And like I said, those are my diodes right there. And that's my big coil down in there. I don't know if you can see it. I can redo this some other time. Let me get around here. And then I put a bunch of neons in there because one time I slipped, the, the wire slipped off and fried my transistors. So I got a mess of them in there. This this thing's 14 gauge wire. In case of a problem, it does protect it better. And uh, then let's go around to the back. The back has some switches on it. You'll see them right there. It has three switches, which it's a four channel unit, so I can turn off three of them, so I'm only running on one channel, two channel, three channel, four channel, like that, toggle switches. So that's it. Just wanted you guys to see that this is a pretty heavy duty thing, and um, you can see the meters down there at the bottom of it, and just how big this thing really is. Okay, I'll be back.